The following talk contains information about eating disorders and descriptions of bulimia, induced vomiting, binging, and self-hatred. Hello. Today, I want to share with you guys some of my own story. I still remember the first time I called the psychologist. I was eight years old, and I was in primary school. I didn't have a phone, so I had to steal it from my dad's pocket. Why I need to steal it instead of just borrowing it from my dad? The reason was because I was afraid that my dad would criticize me because I miss my mom so much again. I miss my mom so much because she was on her business trip. And today is the third day she left. And as an eight years old girl, I couldn't stop crying all the time. I miss my mom so much. I could hardly eat or sleep normally. In fact, I soon discovered that children my age did not really react so much when their parents left them. I was the overreacted one. So my dad started getting mad at me, and I had to steal the phone from him to call someone that may help me. I called a number. A woman on the other side of the phone spoke up. Hello? I asked, hi, are you a psychologist? Yes, I am. What can I help you, honey? Yes, I miss my mom so much. Why others can leave their mom? Why I can't? What happened to your mom? Nothing. She was just on her business trip. And today, the third day she left. Oh, so really miss your mom so much, right? Yes, I am. I couldn't stop crying. All my families and friends think I'm crazy. She said to me gently, Hey, honey, you don't need to cry. It's okay to miss your mom so much. The thing you need to do first is to admit that you miss your mom so much. You need to accept it. You need to accept that you are a girl who loves her mom so much and miss her mom so much when she's on her business trip. When you accept it, you accept yourself. And it's really important for us to accept ourselves. When we end up this call, you can call your mom. You don't need to hide your emotion. You can just simply say, Mom, I miss you so much. Accept yourself, because this is you. Accept yourself, because this is you. The voice of the woman on the phone lingered in my mind for a long time. Accept that you are not so strong. Accept that you are not so independent. Accept such an imperfect self, because this is you. Then, I pick up my school bag and start my middle school life. Because of the sudden change of the growth environment, I lost myself. I was in the same primary school where my mom worked, which meant that all of the stuff in my primary school were colleagues of my mom. Because of this special care, I do have more opportunities than others. I became the leader of many activities and became a role model pressed by everyone. The result of it was that I began to think that I was omnipotent. So I brought this attitude with me and start my middle school life. At the beginning, everything's good. But as time passed, things changed. Everything started over. Nobody knew me. Nobody heard about me. But I still think that I was the special one. As a class monitor, I always think that I was different from others. Everyone should obey me. Everyone should listen to me. As time passed, I had no friends. All of my classmates started to point at me and shouting, 
Who do you think you are, you snob? Get out of our class. For countless nights, I was crying in my dormitory and asked my mom, why me? My mom said, when you stay away from mommy's and daddy's protections, when you face the whole world as a new, fresh, independent person, you need to know that you are just a normal person. You don't have any superpowers or privileges. If you want to be stronger, you can only rely on your own hard work. Suddenly, the voice echoed in my mind again. Accept yourself, because this is you. Growth is a process of admitting that you are just a normal person. At the last day of my middle school, when I stood at the front gate of my school and looked back at the whole schoolyard, I suddenly realized that it took me three years to learn that I was just a normal person. Only by trying to be the best can I be convinced by my classmates. Only by constantly striving can I get more opportunities. Only by practical efforts can I make progress. Accept such a normal self, because this is you. Eight years have passed, and time has come to 2021. Now, I'm a university student, and I believe that everyone is familiar with eating. But it is such a normal thing that made me feel pain and desperate. In fact, in the past year, I became a person who don't know how to eat like a normal person. In the fall of 2020, I was officially diagnosed with eating disorder. In a simple and understandable words, I struggled with bulimia and vomiting. Everything started with some comments. People around me started to argue about my figure. Someone said, Hey, how dare you eat the whole pizza on your own? Have you ever realized how many calories it is? Or, hey, you gained some weight, didn't you? I can tell it from your leg. I suddenly realized if I had done something wrong and I made a decision, I have to lose weight. Because of the long-term restrictions on carbohydrates and fat intake, I had an almost crazy desire on stable food and food with high sugar content. One night, I saw the chocolate cake in the kitchen cabinet, and then suddenly lost control. I ate it as if I'm a tiger. I was even not sure if I really used my teeth to throw it. Everything seemed like I was just machinically stuffing the cake into my mouth. More terrifying thing was, it was just the beginning. I opened the refrigerator and took out all the bread, ice creams, pizzas. I started to stuff myself. One, two, three, four. No, it's not enough. I opened the DoorDash and ordered a full-size pizza and six hamburger. I grabbed the pizza with my hand and stuffed it into my mouth hard, chewing without any emotion. I didn't have any consciousness. Then suddenly, everything was frozen. A sharp pain came from my stomach, and I couldn't straighten up. I lay on the cold floor, and I tried to call for help. But I can't, because my stomach was so full. I just lay on the floor, feeling pain of every breath. Then suddenly, a sense of guilt washed over me. You already insist for a long, long time. Why can't you control yourself just a little bit? Do you really want to eat that? If you don't eat this, will you die? I kept shouting on myself, 
and I had a bad headache, and I knew that I must do something to save myself. Then I rushed to the bathroom, kneeling on the ground with my knees, my hand clenched into a fist, and I used my index finger to touch the bottom of my throat, almost stuffing the entire fist into my mouth. I kept stretching my throat, pressing hard, rubbing crazy, and then suddenly, the vomit spread out, and it covered the entire wall in front of me. I kept vomiting and vomiting until I spit out the green bitter bile. My eyes were bloodshot. My throat was pierced by my own finger, and my whole body was limp. I was trembled and fell on the floor. I was so weak, but I feel satisfied. At the beginning, vomiting is still once or twice a week, but as time passed, it got worse. Sometimes, I vomited until my whole face was full of acid. My body could no longer support my, my legs could no longer support my whole body, and my throat was lost consciousness. I sat on the floor desperately. I could no longer eat like a normal person. Everything is over. Even a bite of broccoli would make me mad. I start to hate myself. I hate myself because I had a crazy desire of food. I hate myself because I couldn't control myself at all. Every time when I stood in front of the mirror, I started to blame myself. You. Ugly, silly, can't control yourself, beast. As time passed, I had the tendency of desperation. I was afraid of eating with my friends, even afraid of talking about food. I was so afraid that someday someone will know that I am a blemish, and I didn't want others to see my dark side. So I hid. My own dark side deeply, until one day, I finished vomiting and lay on the floor. Suddenly, my roommates came in and she shouted at me, "What happened to you?" I was froze, and my mind was blanked. And then I cried. I told her everything about my bench eating and vomiting. I would just sit here waiting for her response. I was so afraid because this is the first time I spoke it out. She helped me up, passed me a cup of hot water, and then she said, "I feel so sorry for you, and I know that you must have suffered a lot. But I want you to know that everyone has their dark side." And no one is perfect. It's okay to have dark side. Start from now. Be brave, and face your own dark side. You can't vomit in all the time, but there's always a way that can make you feel better. Start from tomorrow. Face vomiting bravely, and you have to overcome it. Suddenly, the voice echoed in my mind again. Accept yourself, because this is you. Accept your imperfect figure. Accept your dark side. The first step of self-change is the food I eat. I begin to、um, focus on the process of cooking and eating. I insisted on cooking every meal by my own. Every time when I cut the broccoli or the tomatoes, I would cut them carefully to feel their tenderness and juiciness. And I will place the food in a really beautiful pattern on the plate. 
and I started to record the food, record the taste of each dish. The second step of self-change is enrich my life. Uh, in order to disordering my attention, I became to keep myself as busy as possible. I entered to a lot of courses, I kept exercising every day, and I started to translate my favorite novel. So you may want to ask, can binge eating and vomiting be stopped it by all of these ways? My answer is, of course not. In fact, most of the time, I still struggled with the crazy desire of binge eating and vomiting, just like this, day after day. Until now, I still haven't fully recovered. But I have to admit that I was much more better than the painful self before. And I started to talk to people who have the same experience with me and encourage them. That's the reason why I'm here today. If I can do it, then you can do it too. Sometimes we're scared by our own dark side, so we choose to escape. We constantly blame ourselves. In fact, we really should reconcile with ourselves. Everyone has dark side and no one is perfect. We are great because we are willing to face our dark side and we have courage to overcome it. Learn to accept an imperfect self. Because of imperfections gives us a reason to become better. Learn to accept a normal self. Because of normal, so we have to work harder. Learn to accept a self with dark side. Because it is always easier to find light through the darkness. Thank you.